So hello guys and welcome to another video. And recently there has been a lot of discussion about the Switch 2. There have been multiple things that have been leaked and a lot of people are expecting the announcement to drop any minute now basically. So in this video, the Anton Retro in Star Chronics back after quite a while um, will be discussing the Switch 2. So yeah, but let's go ahead and start on the leaks. There have been a lot of leaks, some based on like the specs of the console, and then one very recently about the design, because some of the models and even some images were leaked. And from what we've seen, it looks pretty similar to like the regular Switch, but it has a larger screen, it seems thinner. And the Joy-Cons look a little different. They have, like, different buttons. And, yeah, the screen looks a little different as well. And the Joy-Cons seem to attach differently, too. I'm not sure if, like, this is fully 100% confirmed to be real or not. Because there is some conflicting information about it. But it does line up yeah. with a lot of the existing rumors and leaks and things in the past. To me, I think with this model happens to be is designed for it's i think um accessories so accessory ma manufacturers and stuff are given like um maybe uh, more detailed information about what the system is and they create a 3d model from it that way they could use it for that because the same thing happened with the previous system switch light and the oled where like they were making accessories for it so they had a lot of information about it so i think that that could be what um this is with the 3d model i don't know if it's necessarily from nintendo but it could be very accurately designed from information from nintendo the one thing that i want to point out is immediately right off the gate if you're looking at the joy cons they are they're unlike some of the pictures that we saw in the leak this morning which were just the 3d the 3d model um we're seeing actual hardware images too if you're looking yeah. at like the FL oh, yeah. and SR buttons, they are significantly larger, which I know that was yeah. a, that was a very common complaint in the uh, original Joy-Con design. But this lines up with all of the leaks regarding the Joy-Cons using a new magnetic form of connection. Yeah. 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 Joy-Cons also appear to have a lot of more um like a like a sharper edge almost. Like it's not as it's much not of a rat yeah there there is a there's a bit of a difference there i don't know again it could be um lighting that makes it look in a certain way but it does look like they're a bit different yeah they definitely um, seem a little longer here yeah there is an extra slot for a button on the right joy con so if you look at the left that's where the the screenshot button usually is but there is a an extra button underneath where the home button is and it's yeah, the same that's... size so it, maybe it relates to something like that i was thinking maybe it could be one for video and one or um voice record i don't know something like that maybe it's interesting um, that it's in the right joy con though yeah you because... would think it would be on the other side because then it matches nicer if we're thinking about this in terms of like other game controllers because you know like xbox and playstation have like the share and the options buttons because we i mean nintendo is not going to get rid of start and select but maybe there maybe that one on the right is a share button maybe we can share clips to social media again maybe a new platform maybe a new format yeah, yeah. i also had another idea for what it could be like on some of the other leaks it mentioned that there was support for like mike in things so i'm wondering if it's Ooh. like a a mic button for like when you're playing online games and things and yeah that basically back the mic from mario party 6. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah um yeah maybe it's a microphone thing because there was a uh, some information about it including a microphone and also another thing too i don't think it has um the ir sensor anymore rest in peace the IR sensor. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. I think you're- what? I think yeah, you're I right. I don't what? think it has it. I am not oh, sure. Like, it, like, I- Um, like, there- 
like it looks like there is like some little thing on the bottom but that just might be like the model itself kind of like how it's built and everything i don't think I that's mean, actually it was only the... used for like a few games right labo yeah. used it uh once you switch that was, that was quality gameplay yeah <laughs> they're, they're taking away a core yeah. feature i can't believe this no. i can't feel the ice cubes inside of my right joy con anymore what a shame yeah although speaking of hd rumble i, I wonder um they're gonna have 4k what, rumble be updated with that yeah 4k, 4K rumble. rumble yes but, it's um, like the uh, the new patent that PlayStation filed for a uh, hot and cold re temperature regulation. Yeah. Yeah. Also, have you? Um, I'm sure you've noticed the other um buttons below the um the ZL and ZR. There's like a smaller kind of trigger on oh, the yeah. back. I think those are for just unlocking the the mechanisms to to disconnect the Joy Cons. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think they'd be called like Super Joy Cons or something? <laughs> yeah, or Joy Con Two, or something. Yeah. Or, I mean, yeah, it, it's quite interesting that you won't be able to use your your old Joy Cons. But I mean, I don't think anyone wants to use those anyway. So. Or what about Joy yeah, Con? Get rid of them. What about <laughs> Joy Con Motion Plus or Joy Con Analog Stick Plus that doesn't drift anymore? Oh. Like the analog sticks. I would assume they are different, and the buttons also yeah. I think would be um, closer to the Pro Controllers ones. Or yeah, the Switch uh, Light. I think they yeah. look a little larger. Yeah, so. on the, on the like, model it here, looks like they have more of a concave to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of looks more like the the Pro Controller from like with how the analog stick and everything looks. So yeah, yeah it looks pretty interesting from what we've seen and then also like another rumor or like i think this was like a leak a little while ago kind of that kind of lines up with this that kind of mentioned some of the specs of it like that it will have basically um 12 gigabytes of ram which is actually more than the xbox series s and this there's also other things there that are pretty... In power-wise, like, factoring everything together, um, they're kind of expecting it to either be, like, around between, like, the PS4 Pro and the Xbox Series S. Like, kind of in between there, um, depending on, like, certain things. But I, I think it's going to be somewhere around there. I feel like that's a good yeah. prediction. But I mean, for it to play most of upcoming games and you know um ps5 ps4 um games i think that would be the right um direction to take the system right i could see games like final fantasy 7 remake make it for um launch or around that as like a big game to show the hardware or Elden um, and Ring. other games that have been that. making uh, the runs to other platforms so I feel like we could see Final Fantasy within like the first year of the console's life. Yeah. I don't think that's too hard to call. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like games like um Final Fantasy and Elden Ring would probably be like the showcasing ones on the trailer, kind of like how they had like Skyrim on the um the Switches yeah. reveal trailer. So Yeah, and Yeah, for sure. I think that'd be a I think they're gonna show a lot of variety of games. Um because of the with the first one, so. And it was also. I get... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was also gonna say it was um, leaked to have 256 gigabytes of storage, which is much better than the Switch, which is only like, um, 32 to 64, depending on the model. Yeah. Do you it's think like... that we're gonna get? one uh skew or there's gonna be two like a wii u because like i'm leaning two. towards one at right now really i'm leaning towards just one where it's gonna be just nintendo switch 2 and that's it there's not gonna be another version because i don't I, unless it's like the storage is that much more for another model i just don't know what what else would be the difference because it won't be an oled screen from what we've heard from here's, other rumors here's what i see them doing i see them doing either they either they either do one 
and I think that's the most logical decision for them to make, but knowing the game industry, I think that we can see... Because you remember the original Switch launched with two colors. You had the red and blue, and then you had the gray. I think we do something similar with that. They'll probably do gray again, or maybe they'll do white and red and blue. I think those are the very... I think those are very Nintendo-esque colors to bring them into this new era. But also, I think that if they're going to do that, the red and blue might be... Let's say that's 128 gigs, whereas the gray is going to be 256. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about yeah having different color options. Um, maybe they'll do that. I. I don't really know. I feel like it's either going to be. I don't know if they're going to bring back the color thing. I think it's going to be either you have the black model or the white model. I think they're going to do something like that. I don't know. They, I think they still might do the colors because they've been releasing so many different Joy-Con colors even over the past couple years. So I have the feeling they might they might do it simple first. Like maybe they'll do like um just like how the Switch launched, like the um red and blue and then the gray. Yeah, and, and then they might do like white. I'm not sure. It just or it actually might just be like black and white as well, but um because that was kind of how the Wii U did it, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I feel like they could go either way with this, but I do think over time we'll probably get more, like, Joy-Con 2 colors. I got 15 pairs of Joy-Cons that I need to start selling right now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, if we're looking at this console, I think that we can, we can go ahead and start bringing up cross-gen titles. Yeah. What yeah. do you guys think? Yeah, well, I hopefully, think we, you we know, were, the main we system will have, uh, the main system should have, you know, backwards compatibility, we heard from rumors, so, um, hopefully there's some games that could have enhancements in terms of that, but then oh, also, yeah. you know, um, in terms of, um, you know, new games as well, I, I do... I'd be interested to see if they're going to just make them just for this, the Switch 2, or there might be some games that are still released, or, um, you know, for the old system. I do wonder what they're going to do there, or it's just going to be like, that's it. Yeah, I, I feel like, like they support the Switch for a little while longer. I mean, the Switch has done so well. I think we have at least another two to three years of development before they conk out on it. Yeah, like, just due to the fact that it's, like, one of the best-selling Nintendo consoles of all time, like, right behind the DS, like, I, I could definitely see them supporting it for a little longer. And also, I wanted to mention with, like, existing games on the Switch getting upgrades on the Switch 2, it was actually already data mined that Thousand Year Door has a 4K setting that's unused. So it seems like that might be something that will be basically unlocked and updated once the Switch 2 comes out. So I feel like there might be a lot of, like, games on the Switch that are either, like, already out or, like, the ones kind of coming soon that might get, like, 4K updates or 60 FPS updates. I think that would be really nice to see, because I feel like there's some games that could definitely benefit from, like, a little extra power. Yeah. I know that the OLED docks have 4K settings that, that aren't active yet. Yeah, they, they had those. They do? Um, they, they had, uh, I guess, like, um, some settings that they, they're never really used. So I don't know if they're ever... I wonder if they're just going to take that dock and just use it the next one. And we, really have, we haven't even seen the dock yet in terms of um, leaks and stuff. So there was I wonder like a... if... Um, there's going to be, like, Ethernet in there, probably. So. Yeah, there was, like, a, a fake one earlier. but it, it Yeah, I've seen yeah, that. It looked like... It, the logo it looked even, looks a bit rough. Yeah, it looked even more like a toaster, like, than the dock already does. <laughs> so. The Nintendo really likes toaster designs and appliance designs. I mean, all toasters toast toast. Yeah, <laughs> and the NES looks like a bit of a toaster as well. Yeah. <laughs> AVGN even has the Nin Toaster. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, yeah, um... So, I think we could maybe talk about 
like the um the watch titles as well since we're kind of on the topic of games and i feel like metroid prime 4 will definitely be one of the launch titles it, it really seems like that will be the case at this point like considering the fact that it's releasing next year it's a huge anticipated title i know metroid isn't like the the, the best selling series but from the way nintendo has been hyping it up and just kind of building up to it, it, it really seems like it's going to be kind of like a Breath of the Wild situation. Not on the scale of like sales and things, but I do feel like it's going to get that big push on the Switch too. It's definitely going to be a cross-gen title. Like it, it's already confirmed for Switch. They're not going to change that, but I feel like it's definitely going to get a considerable, considerable graphical upgrade on the Switch too. Like a kind of like a a better version of it on the Switch 2. And yeah, I, I could definitely see that as one of the launch titles there. I'm curious if... Because I know Sony, they did the, the whole upgrade game. So like, if you bought a version of a game on PlayStation 4 that is eligible for an upgrade on PlayStation 5, they did charge them for that upgrade. I hope that they don't do the same for Nintendo. Yeah, I, I'm i not sure. Like, with the way it seems, like, with how 4K settings have been, like, data mined from games, it seems like it will just be, like, an update that you could just, like, update the game, and it will just, like, simply kind of, like, run the game, like, better and just have, like, a little bit of an upgrade. I'm not sure if they'll be, like things that would kind of um basically warrant having to pay for it i like i know nintendo is weird about that stuff sometimes but yeah i'm not sure like it, it just seems like something that might just be like a setting in the game that you could turn on if you if you're playing it on switch 2. i certainly hope it's not locked behind a paywall because i don't yeah. want to have to pay ten dollars to play because I've already paid my $60 and then some to play Smash Ultimate. I do not want to have to pay another $10 to have another setting. Uh, yeah, that, that would be really annoying um, <laughs> if, if that happened. But some other launch titles I could definitely see happening, like aside from Metroid. I think 3D Mario definitely has a chance here because it's been like seven years since the last one and i guess four years now since like the last 3d mario related thing with bowser's fury so it, it just seems like now they've really kind of been building up to like a, a one on the next console so i think that's definitely a possibility it, even though the base switch didn't have a mario game like at launch I feel like it would make sense for the Switch 2 to sell a lot of people on it, because I feel like the Switch 2 is definitely releasing in a different context than the Switch 1, because we're not coming out of, like, the Wii U and everything. We need... I feel like Nintendo really needs to sell a lot of the current Switch install base to get a Switch 2, and I feel like a Mario game is definitely a good way of doing that, like, at least very early in its life, like... Within the, the first couple months, there has to be some kind of Mario game, either, either if it's a 3D Mario game or Mario Kart. Something like that would make a lot of sense close to launch. I think that we can see Mario Kart, I wouldn't say launch year. I would not, I would not say within the first calendar year of Switch 2, simply just because of how recent the Booster Course, Booster Course Pass wrapped up. I would like to see a next generation Mario Kart game. It's been 10 years. I think that we can expect some ports i think that twilight princess and wind waker definitely could be a very good talking point to showcase the next gen leap in hardware just think about the water physics if, if the leaks are true and we're gonna see ps4 pro and xbox series x level graphics on a nintendo console think of what that means for zelda because the possibilities for looking like a legitimately large game like elden ring god of war Zelda could be that next big leap. Yeah. Like, you know, I feel like that would definitely be a good way of showing it, because I feel like it's going to be quite a while before we get a new, like, 
full brand new um 3d zelda game so i feel like with like a remake or a port i feel like that would probably be a pretty good way of showing that like maybe since it's been so long since like we we've been waiting for like twilight princess and wind waker hd i could imagine it could possibly be like another graphical jump from those remasters it could even be like a full remake of either like wind waker or twilight princess at this point i wouldn't be surprised i think it definitely has potential to do that if not though then the switch 2 definitely if if we're calling it switch 2 I, i'm I don't even know what the name of this next generation console is going to be. It's going to need a game to showcase all of its graphical capabilities. I think Prime 4 is definitely going to be a good candidate, but it's not going to be that that very easy, welcoming game that the casual audience needs. I think we're going to see Switch Sports Resort. <laughs> as, <laughs> as dumb as it sounds. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Like, we could either get, like, s some Switch Sports-related thing, or... I think there might be, like, something, like, along the lines of 1-2-Switch or Nintendo Land, where it's just, like, some completely crazy new idea. Hopefully with more content than 1-2-Switch, but I could see them doing something like that, too. Like, some kind of, um, like, game that showcases the hardware in some way. Like, maybe even, like, something... Like like, I could even see them doing, like, some kind of casual game that also showcases, like, the graphical capabilities. You can see it. I also had this idea. I know this probably wouldn't be at launch at this point since this series just got a new game last year. But with WarioWare, I had a pretty funny idea of how it could work on the Switch 2. Basically, a WarioWare game with the micro games looking like super like high quality like super like kind of uncannily realistic like well a lot of micro games before look kind of like like they look like they look purposefully low quality or they look like um like very stylized i think it would be really funny if there was like a warioware game where the theme was like the micro games looking really like grotesque and like realistic to a point where it kind of looks really weird. I think that would be really funny if they did something like that, like as a way to showcase the hardware, but also kind of do like some funny twist for WarioWare as well. That's a very Nintendo thing to do. It's definitely a possibility. I definitely think maybe they do like an update. Maybe it's like a side mode to uh, move it. Maybe we see something in there. Yeah. It's like move it for the next console. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, with looking back on WarioWare Move It, I I really feel like Nintendo should have pushed it to the Switch 2 launch. That would have made so much more sense. And maybe in that game they could have added like some new features that only like the Switch 2 has. Like cuz that game sold under a million copies. It didn't sell well cuz it was kind of sandwiched in between Mario Wonder and the Mario RPG remake. I feel like if they saved it for the Switch 2 launch, that would have been perfect cuz WarioWare is, like, a great casual game to have at launch, like, with the Wii and everything, and also the DS as well. But, um, yeah, I feel like, while not at launch, I could see, like, a WarioWare game at some point on the Switch, too. But, like, other games that I could, that I could definitely see launching, like, early in the system's lifespan is Donkey Kong. I'm not sure if Donkey Kong would be a launch title, but I could definitely see it happening, like, very early on. Because it's been, like, there's been so much build-up to something Donkey Kong related. And, um, I mean, we are getting the Donkey Kong Country Returns remaster, so it might be, like, another year that we'll have to wait. But at the same time, I could see it still happening, like, fairly early on. Anton, yeah. what do you? Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, um, I was just saying. Yeah, I, I, I pretty much agree with. That. I think. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll see a WarioWare, but I think we'll see something from Intelligent Systems for sure, pretty early on. And I think we'll see something from How because they haven't really done something in a while. So. Yeah, I know the next. Let me. Uh... Go ahead. I was going to say the next Kirby game will probably release around 2026 kind of assuming that they're doing the um 
the four-year kind of cycle for Kirby games. Though, it could be a bit sooner, because before it was a three-year cycle, and they could be, like, reusing the Forgotten Land engine to make the next game. So there is still a possibility that there could be a Kirby game coming out next year, but I feel like 2026 is a little more likely for that. I think we could see a Kirby port, maybe, like, Robobot Deluxe or something. I feel like that's possible. Yeah. Yeah. I was also thinking like a spin-off too that could possibly showcase the hardware, like a new air ride game. I feel like that would be really cool. Like that, that would so be much fun. that would be like a good compromise to like having them like basically having them put more time into a mainline Kirby game, but also a game that is multiplayer, is really fun, and can showcase the hardware in various ways. Yeah. So I, I guess think... I would say, unless there's a Mario Kart, right? If there's a Mario Kart, I don't know if they'd want that to be up near it, right? Yeah. Unless they dive more into, like, the the um city trial aspect of it. Maybe they call it, like, Kirby City Trial or something to kind of distance itself from Mario Kart. So, yeah, I'm not that's sure. A possibility. But okay, let me let me ask you guys this. If you could if you could safely say, not counting Metroid Prime 4, if you could say these are the three games that I I would go out on a limb and say they're going to come out within the first 365 days of this console being on the market, what are they? Um I'm going to say Mario Kart, a 3D Mario game. Um I'm going to say I'm going to say those two are probably 100% uh, I'm going to say the uh, Metroid Prime 4, um, something from may maybe a, a major Kirby game uh, is uh, very possible to come out in 2026, but still, you know, in that time frame, um, that's uh, very possible. And then I would also say um, maybe a smaller project from Nintendo, maybe a Xenolite export. Um, so that that's what I would say. Are the things like I I would say would come out in the uh, in the 365 days? Yeah, I would. What about you, Reese? I would say 3D Mario, um, Donkey Kong. Either if it's like a 3D or a 2D game, like any sort of new mainline Donkey Kong game. And final one, I would say maybe so for the be like something that I'm absolutely sure would probably happen is something from Camelot, whether it be like Mario Sports or some other thing. If they decide to bring like Golden Sun back or something, but probably Mario Sports, some sort of Camelot title because it's been. I say oh, maybe uh, uh, maybe Mario Sports Mix, something like that. Uh, maybe. maybe Mario Baseball. Yeah, it's been over three years since Mario Golf came out. So, like, and they haven't, it, it's usually the gap between um, when Camelot games release is three years or less. So, now it's going to be four years, kind of going into next year. So, we're probably going to see, like, some sort of either Mario Sports, or if Nintendo decides to revive Golden Sun, then, then maybe. But probably, like, maybe a new Mario Tennis or something like that. I like to think that if we're going into this year and we have 365 days to make an impact, I'm going to go with what Anton said. I definitely think 3D Mario is kind of a shoe in I don't think Mario Kart will be in the first year, simply just because it's just fresh off the heels of Booster Course Pass, but I think 3D Mario is kind of a shoe in I'll also go with what you said with Donkey Kong. I think we'll get something, whether it is a 2D or a 3D, I think we definitely get something. I think that we get something really unique. I think we get a brand new IP. First of all, I think we're going to get an IP. It's not going to be as big as Splatoon. I don't know if we're going to get like another ARMS or something. I think we're going to definitely get one of those weird, funky, experimental Nintendo games. And they're really going to try to market it. But I think that first year is really going to be like, okay, we're going to get the big AAA ports in there. We're going to get Elden Ring. We're going to get... Maybe the first, because Nintendo, they, uh, they, I believe they announced a partnership with Call of Duty. Maybe we get a Call of Duty game running on a Nintendo console for the first time since the Wii U. But bottom line, I think that what we can expect, I think we, yeah, 3D Mario, something Donkey Kong related, a couple of ports, maybe a Zelda port of Twilight Princess and Wind Waker, maybe a port of 
Robobot or Triple Deluxe or something like that. And then I think that we might see some gimmicks. I don't know how, I don't know what, but there's definitely going to be some gimmick-related stuff. Yeah. Um, I know the game that we're almost certain that we're going to get because someone leaked it last year. Relno Ramen Warrior! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you it's remember a day one launch title, guys? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Relno Ramen Warrior Sweep Game of the Year 2025. <laughs> Hashtag yeah, Ramen that... Sweep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a weird uh, prediction that someone or leak. Yeah, it's a very weird leak. Yeah. When when do you guys see this thing coming out? I'm gonna I'm gonna see. Since it's not coming out this fiscal year, it's probably going to come out in the late spring. I'm going to say... I'm going to have a wild prediction here. I'm going to say... The beginning of May. I'm just... I, that's just okay. kind of what I'm thinking. Like, because Nintendo has re released other important things in May in the past... Of course, I'm going to say Thousand Year Door, but also um, Tears of the Kingdom um, as well. I think, did the original version of Mario Kart 8 release in May? I'm not sure. No, that was April. It was April. Or, no, actually, oh, the, the Wii U version came out in May. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, yes, um, yeah. I yeah, you, yeah, I was, yeah, I was referring to the Wii U version of it. That came out in May as well. So Nintendo still can release kind of big things in May. And I don't think they're going to release it any, like, later than that. I feel like it would be a bit too late. March would be, like, the other, like, the other safe bet of when it could release. But now we know that's out of the question, since it's not releasing this fiscal year, and that ends on March 31st. So it would have to be, I, I would have to say it's probably in April or May of next year. And I, I'm, I think May would probably be my most likely guess, I would say. All right. I think April. I think second, third week of April. I don't know yeah. why. I think I... just with in the prime of spring, because then they're really going to start, okay, we also have to think of the casual market, because there are children, and children are going to go nuts for this thing. And so that's going to be the lead up. You have April, and you have that little bit of build up right before summer to get some games in that library. And then once summer hits, you get to June, console's been out for two months, you've got a little bit of a library to choose from. Yeah, I I'm yeah. also probably going to go with uh, April. I feel like May's a bit too late. Even though that also does seem like a good time, I think May's a little too late. Um, I also think uh, they they could go with March. I mean, Nintendo never said anything like when they announced the, um, the that they were gonna do the announcement, right, for the successor to the Switch. Um, I'm just looking at it right here. Uh, they never said that the system would be like um, like. Uh, release at a certain time, right? I forget. Yeah, I so. Because, um, I think in the tweet that they had put, they said the announcement within the fiscal year, they never said the system would come out during, oh yeah. So it could, it could even be March. It could even be then. Because uh, to me, I think that would be the right time to do it. But, you know, it depends on when when it's announced, right? So I'm I'm probably if, gonna go with March. You're going with March? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think if Go ahead, you're good. Yeah, I think there was just like a lot of like rumors and like leaks and things saying that like it's gonna happen after March. I've just seen that's just kind of like the consensus that I've heard. That's the only reason why I think it's gonna be after March. I think we get a trailer within the next month and we see a release between the the latter bit of March and the earliest part of May. I feel like if we want to give that the ultimate rough time frame, we we get right into there. 
Yeah, that's what yeah. that's around where I'm thinking. I just find like April is never a month Nintendo does anything, right? Most of the time when they they don't ever release major games in April, there was no. something in March or May. So to me, it's one of those. But May seems a bit too far. That's why I'm leaning more to March. They can yeah, do some sort of marketing where it's like celebrate eight years with a new upgrade or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, the the way they've been hyping this up makes it seem like it's gonna be like kind of like a a big thing. Like they're still gonna treat it even though it's gonna be basically like the switch again but more powerful. I still feel like they're gonna have like some big push for it as well. But um I feel like it's probably going to be like a similar upgrade from the DS to the 3DS, I would say. Because on the surface, the 3DS does look pretty similar, like hardware-wise, to the DS. Like, like just kind of looking at it. But there are so many things that were upgraded in the 3DS. I feel like it's probably going to be a similar thing with the Switch 2. Yeah. All I know is, is judging by what we have been provided, in just within the past 48 hours, this thing looks good. Bottom line, this thing looks like a legitimate improvement, and it has a ton of potential. Yeah, I yeah. see on like some of the videos and things that I've watched, people comment like, this just looks like a Switch. Uh, and I'm like, How, like, what else do you want it to be? Some people want it to be like a dual screen thing. Like, no, that that would be the worst thing possible if it had a dual screen because then the games wouldn't be designed for it and then we'd have Wii U all over again. Yeah. So people and just I, want, like, a drastic change. But if, if it, it, like, honestly, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Especially in the case exactly. of Nintendo. Just, to, yeah. you know, just make it a better system. I mean, that's all. Yeah, and you know, sometimes, like, I've noticed one thing. People ask for these huge gimmicks on new Nintendo consoles and things. But I feel like they forget to realize that a lot of games can be impacted by that. Like, because a lot of the time, they you'll get, like, a ton of those motion control games. If the console is designed around motion controls, or a game designed around the touchscreen, if you have, like, a console with a touchscreen. And I feel like that kind of, like, for some game series, it kind of made them a bit too gimmicky. You probably know what I'm talking about. The, like, <laughs> the yeah. series that I talk about all the time. Um... And also Star Fox Zero. That was a major <laughs> but, one that I feel, had an issue. I feel like sometimes if a console has a gimmick, sometimes they can go a bit too far with it. But the Switch, I feel like they handled it perfectly. It has gimmicks, but it doesn't feel like they're really they don't really stick out too much to the point where they have to design like so many like motion control themed games or like touch screen games. Like it, it seems like there's a good balance here. It seems like there's definitely a better balance between, like, casual and hardcore audiences than there was before. So I feel like they want to continue that balance into the next console. I'm excited to see the next jump in this company. I'm ready to see Mario and Zelda and Samus look da damn near 4K. If we get some crisp running games and we get some... It, all I want is for them to improve their online system. If we get an improved Nintendo Switch online, this console is going to be a bust. I mean, it's not going to be a bust. It's going to be a win. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. But I think yeah. that's pretty much all that we know of right now. And hopefully we'll uh, find out soon enough. I, I would expect... I would expect an announcement within within the next two weeks, at least until, you know, and if not then, at least maybe until early early October. I don't think anything later than that, because then when would it would be it when would it be announced? And I don't think Nintendo, if it's in production, wants the system leaked even further. So, the sooner the better. Yeah, but anyways, I agree. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And make sure to subscribe to Star Chronics and Anton Retro as well. And make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Stay perky!